In this video, we'll cover how to get designs out of MonuCAD and into Memorial Designer. Uh, so the first thing that I'll do in MonuCAD here is do a component place uh, CP, and I'll just choose the first one here, can cover, click OK, and place it on there. To get it out of MonuCAD, um, I'm going to do XP, which is export, and then I'll choose vector, and I'm going to do the R2010, um, because that's the latest version and it will allow for arcs instead of everything being converted to straight line segments. So I'll go ahead and click OK there. I'll throw it into the DXF export folder. I created this uh, folder ahead of time. I've, I have actually exported them just to the C drive and for some reason they're not visible. I don't know, something weird is going on there. So I created a folder, DXF export, and they show up fine when I do that. So I'll just save it here as cancover.dxf and click save. And now that it's there, I'll go into Corel Draw and open up a new document. Once I've got my new document, I will import here. And I'll find the can cover. Click import. These are the settings that you'd want to use. Top, auto reduce the nodes. That uh, gets rid of a lot of the extra nodes, unneeded ones. English uh, for the units and one to one for the scaling. That way everything comes in the correct size. And if you just hit enter, it will center it on the page. So go ahead and hit enter. Now, when I pulled this in, you can see there's a, uh, a zero layer and then a layer one. I typically always work on layer one. So there's a tool that I have here in Memorial Designer called DXF Fix. And if I click on that, what it does is it takes all of those individual segments, there were actually 10 in this case, um, and it tries to close them all um, as individual curves. For some reason it didn't work. Uh, I'll just try it again, DXF Fix. Maybe it was the way I had it selected. Um, either way, Running DXF Fix takes all of the outside lines here, com combines them all together, closes them all in, and then fills them in with uh, black. And then anything that's on the inside of your design, it will fill in with 10% gray and combine that all together. So you end up with two different curves instead of however many you had before. Um, so that's how you get artwork into uh, Memorial Designer out of MoniCAD. However, the DXF fix is not really meant to work on full stones. It's only meant to work on individual pieces like this. So if I were to go back into MoniCAD and this time load a drawing, let's just go with the first one here. So if I were to load this drawing in, um, it has text and text if you want that to be output. Uh, first you need to explode all, so XA to explode all and that breaks that into individual characters and then we're going to do an XA again and that will explode everything out again um, as curves. That way when I go to um, export it out the text comes along with it. It's no longer text, it's converted to curves but um, that's kinda how it has to work. However, I don't have the full DXF export license um, so if I were to just hit XP on this it would give me a warning. I'll just go ahead and do it. Um, and try that. So if I try to save this, it says too many vectors selected for this license and only vectors, 50 vectors were exported. Um, 50 vectors could be just the pieces here on the rock pitching and so it's not going to do me a whole lot of good. Since I don't have the DXF export, what I do instead is I use my Monu cut, which so I go to I hit DC instead to bring it into Monu cut. Um, I get my design sent. It, it doesn't really matter, but I just center it on there. Um, and I can't shrink down the Monu cut to fit to my screen here, but um, you, you'll see the things that I use. I use rubber size, a custom size. I just did 60 by 60, so I could make sure I got everything. And then all you do is hit cut to file. And then cut the file. We'll save it as a .mcp file. So under files to cut, I'm saving as demo dd01. 
Java.mcp and I'll just click Save. All right, so instead of importing the DXF, I'll go back here and I'll just start a new document to do this import. That way I can import the, wherever I put those here, files to cut. Okay, so I've got the demo MCP here. If I right click on that and say rename, change my file extension to PLT, um, then it switches it over to a PLT file which I can import because it's an HPGL file is what this is. So then I import that. The settings that I like to use, I actually just saved this as a pen library um, because I'm doing it with the black color, I'm doing a pen with the zero. Um, and then I also scale it to 101.6% um, so that it doesn't shrink it down, which it would otherwise, I'm not sure why. But anyway. Um, with these settings, I, you can click OK, and then I hit Enter to drop it onto my page. Hitting F4 will zoom to all, and then I can go in here and you can see my exported thing. However, the one downside is that this is going to uh, convert everything to line segments like this. If I went and ungrouped this all, So the bonus over DXF versus the PLT over the DXF is even though this is lines, um, it actually keeps them all together. Where the DXF will usually break all of these apart into individual pieces. Um, so it just depends on on your drawing how well that works. But this is actually keeping those together, which is nice. Um, so there's a little bit of cleanup that will have to be done. You can see there's a lot of nodes here. Anyway, if I were to just try to combine this and fill it in, we'll see what happens here. Just to fill it in, I can select the pieces I want filled and hit Fill Grayscale. Um, actually, I need to undo that because I s believe I selected the top of the stone there. And fill Grayscale is also not meant to work on a, a whole design yet. It's only meant to work on individual pieces. Um, so I'll just undo that. Alright, so you can see this actually got broken up into multiple pieces. So I'll just select a little bit lower here. Alright, even then if I were to just hit fill grayscale it looked like a lot of that didn't end up getting filled. So some of it did, some of it didn't, and this is based usually based on the way that the the piece is actually drawn. So if I go to toggle the view to wireframe and come in here, we can see if there's anything wrong with these pieces as to why they wouldn't uh, fill in. Um, and I can actually click on it. Okay, so that piece right there you can see is separated from the rest of the rest of the design. So this needs to be combined and closed with this piece. Fill grayscale won't do that automatically. Um, it's just able to fill in and combine pieces. Um, so instead, we'll use DXF fix, but DXF fix is not meant for a whole stone, or yeah, it's not meant for everything. So I'll delete the pieces that I don't want. And if I just run it on here, we'll see what happens. Right now, double clicking on this, we have 261 different objects. So we'll run DXF fix and see what, what it does for us. Oh, 
I forgot also that I was in wireframe. Okay. So getting back to how we were, this is actually not, you know, this is inverted from how we would normally do it because what it did is it combined everything together and and made the, uh, the outside black instead of gray. Um, so I would just take that outside piece and turn it to 30% black first. And then we could choose all those inside pieces and run fill grayscale on those. And we'll see what happens here. All right, so it took a little bit of conversion, a little bit of work there, but after not too many clicks, we were able to get everything in. Um, one of the things, so down here, we've got this part that would look better to actually keep that um, polished, I would think, maybe not right there. Um, but this is a good use for knockout. If we go to knockout and click here and there and there, you see how that gets knocked out. And then you hit escape to end your knockout key. Because the text has all been converted to curves, it actually gets pieced together with the panels. So if I were to move this, you'll see how the text moves with that panel. Um, so if I were to read, you know, if I were to edit this text or add in new text here in Corel Draw, um, I probably wouldn't want to keep that text. So I would select this curve, this piece, and go up to object and say break curve apart. And then go to the wireframe, select that text, and delete those. Same thing down here. So I'm just going to delete all that text. Oops, I need to break that apart first. And I can delete the text. Delete that text. Okay, once that's done, um, I can rerun fill panels on this, and it will get all these pieces combined back together. So if I hit fill grayscale now, instead of having 53 different objects, We now end up with six. So we've got these two here, these two here. I don't know where the other ones came from. Anyway, um, and once again, since we reran fill grayscale, we'd have to knock this back out again. But that's okay. So we hit escape to end our knockout. All right, so now we've got our design. Um, if we wanted to, we could take the shape tool and select these designs because there's 3,976 nodes. And if you noticed, it actually took a while to do all my combinings and all that stuff. So I should have done this ahead of time. Um, and that is to take all of those nodes. I select all of the nodes. I just hit Control A on the keyboard, uh, but you can also double click on the shape tool to select them all and then you can hit reduce nodes which will drop them down quite a bit so I went from 3000 down to 1000 another thing that you can do is um, you can do smoothing here but the more you smooth the less it's going to look like the original so if I were to smooth to 10 I'll just show you here and then do an undo and you'll see I'm undoing and redoing so you can see how it's changing a little bit the design and that's because I'm smoothing it out. Um, not necessarily a bad thing since it was actually the line segments are switching over to uh, to being curves instead of straight line segments. And instead of being a thousand nodes we're now down to 357 so it's not going to take as long to cut. You don't have to hit reduce nodes to use smoothing. You can just go straight to smoothing if that's what you want to do. 
It's just that smoothing will will alter the way that the design looks a little bit, so uh, you may not want to do it too much. This is 4,783 nodes. And if I were to reduce that by 10, or smooth it, I should say, then it changes down to only 557 nodes. And I'll zoom in, and I'll undo and redo, just to see if that changed the design too much from the original. Which it still looks okay to me, so I will... Uh, I'll keep it. And I'm just doing Control Z and Control Shift Z to switch between undoing and redoing. You have to uh, smooth both the inside and outside since they're different objects. But I selected it with my shape tool, hit Control A to select all the nodes, and then I do a smooth. So it goes from 1600 nodes down to 189. So I really should have done that before I did all of my uh, fill grayscale stuff just because it will it will actually fill a lot faster with not as many nodes um, as well as taking out the text that that would help as well in being able to close your design in fast so that's how I would do it getting things in from Monicad um, and how to bring them in and fill them if you can use the DXF export option um, that's great use that because it will do curves uh, however I have been told that you cannot export out the MonuCAD designs using the DXF export license if, uh, as there's a DXF export license agreement that prohibits that. You can only do files of your own creation and I don't have any of my own creation which is why I used uh, these standard MonuCAD designs um, but I also wasn't using that option so I should be okay there. But anyway that is how you get designs out of MonuCAD and into CorelDRAW. Now that I've got my whole stone, oh, and I can also, I'll just hit reduce notes on that. No, that didn't reduce it very much, I'll smooth it. Okay, so after I've done that, I can add in my base if I want. I'll just draw a rectangle, 48 by six. I could have kept the base that was on there, I suppose, but since we're closing everything in, it was easier to easier to erase their base and start fresh than to try to fix all that stuff that was there. I'll do 20% black so that it's rock pitched, and I will right click on this to get rid of the outline. And once that's done, you can come down here and grab any one of these granite colors and click yes, and it will fill it in with color.